powder. Where is the whole self-setting situation that you don't need to set it with powder if you don't want to? No. Like, what game are we playing? This is not self-setting at all. If you walk around, we are back at it again. Welcome or welcome back. In today's video, we are gonna be reviewing the brand new and popping concealer from Makeup and Mario, and of course, his brand new concealer brush. You already know that when you see me with my hair up, that means it is hair day. I have to wash my hair and get it done. But for now, the ponytail will do. And I'm loving the whole long hair, don't care vibe. I'm letting my hair grow. And though I seriously have a love and hate relationship when it comes to his foundation, I don't know what it is. Some days I love it, and some other days I hate the shit out of it. Like it feels dry, it be looking dusty and crusty and sus. And because of that reason, I really don't even use it like that. Because it happened to me before a couple of times that I put it on, I go through the whole mission of me doing my makeup, and then at the end I'm like, ugh, I don't like it. So that's annoying. And I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that his foundation is bad because it's not, not at all. I just think that it is a very picky formula. Like you have to make sure that you prep your skin really good, depending on your skin type that you exfoliate before you use his foundation. That's the reason why I think it's not the most flattering foundation for everybody, even though it is a beautiful formula. Like I'm actually not even wearing it right now. On my face right now, I have my holy grail combo that it is let me show you i wasn't gonna show you right now because i was gonna just add it on my favorites but fucking i have you here so let's talk about it really quick this is my holy grail combo the hourglass skin tint is gonna give you the perfect glow with the hourglass foundation that is gonna give you the perfect coverage and on my eyes i do have his mad eyeshadow palette i just created something quick just a little some some let's go straight to the point and this is the new surreal skin awakening concealer it is 29 dollars made in canada i hate when i try to open the freaking box and they break like this like it's a puppy. This is claiming to lift, blur, and brighten. It is a medium coverage, buildable formula that is going to conceal even the darkers under eye circles. Formulated with lift and lock technology, the caffeine infused concealer is going to depuff, tighten, and smooth while the self-setting formula it's going to lock it off i love the packaging it's the same as this foundation just like of course smaller tinier skinnier and this is available in 22 shades they're supposed to be crease proof long wearing and of course that yo girl right here once again got you swatches of every single shade i'm gonna put it up on the screen and make sure you screenshot them save them do your little homework so you can make sure that you pick the right shade for you In the store, I was between the shade 200 and 220. Let me show you really quick how they both look under my eyes. I normally always get my concealers with neutral undertones or something with a little bit of peach or peachy pink, something like that. But in my opinion, the shade 200, it is giving way too much neutral undertone. Like it was making me look weird, like grayish and dull and it was too white. Like it was making me look dead. So that's the reason why I ended up going with the shade 220. That is the one that have peach in it and it's giving me a little bit more life. I just came down running down the stairs and I'm out of breath. The applicator, it is pretty basic. It's not giving nothing out of the ordinary. It is really nice and flexible. And I do like the, I see a little bit of the peach, but it's not too much. No! What the heck was I thinking? I was about to use this concealer brush from Rare Beauty. I almost forgot that I picked up his brush. Hello. This is the F5 concealer brush. It is $24. 
It is made in China and it is a round sloped brush that hugs the curve of your face to easily blend and build concealer. So you gotta remember to use the brush because I would have been very aggravated at the end of the video. So you can use this brush with all type of formulas, cream, powder, liquids, and it is synthetic bristles. I'm really liking the shape of the brush. It fits perfectly under the eye. The bristles are feeling gentle, soft, like they're not scratchy. And it's mimicking the finger, like it's really bouncy, see? Do you saw how fast I blended this concealer? In one second, I'm not lying. And one of the things that I'm noticing and that I'm actually liking a lot is that exactly where you apply the concealer and blend it, that's exactly where it stays. Like it doesn't move. It's not too slippery. It looks really natural, but it's not too hydrating. I have so many super hydrating natural concealers that I really don't need another one. And this one, it's giving me more of a natural, more matte type of finish, which I'm loving. I really, really like this brush a lot. It is a little bigger than the one from Mer Beauty. And it's also fluffier and totally different shapes, but it blends effortlessly. But this is with and without. Before I tell you what I think about it, let's apply a little bit more to see if we can get it to full coverage. Look how pretty this brush is. Look at it. Boom, boom, boom. I like that you can get right here on the edge of your eyeshadow if it's already done and you're not gonna fuck it up. With the little tip of the brush, you can get really in here. It is the perfect size to go down the side of your nose. And yes, it is totally buildable. And now I got a little bit more coverage. It's definitely giving me a solid medium coverage. So far, this is looking really freaking good. I love the way the shade 220 looks on me. I mean, look at the difference with and without. Now I can really see how much dark circles do I have going on. I seriously have to sleep a little bit more than what I'm sleeping now, but what do you think? I'm actually impressed with how good it looks on me. You see no dark circles, no discoloration peeking through, and it did help me with the puffiness for sure, because this looks a lot more fuller than this. Remember that this concealer is supposed to set itself. You don't need powder if you don't want to. And if they tell me I don't need powder, I'm not gonna apply powder. Thank you. I already had it on for about 10 minutes, I will say. And this is how it looks. It still feels a little wet, which it is tacky a little bit and I do see a little bit of creasing starting to happen in already why it's not supposed to if it is self-setting you know what we should do let's apply it on the other side and let's set it with powder so we can see the difference on with and without powder It is a little bit more on the thick and dry side. It is reminding me a lot to the Hourglass Concealer, which I'm not a fan of. But this one, even though it's not really super hydrating, it is a lot more hydrating than the one from Hourglass. I'm gonna be setting this side with the Ami Cole powder really quick. 
pick up a little bit. Oh. And let's set it. Oh, I love this powder so much. This is how it looks without powder and with. I definitely like it a lot more with powder than without. And it's been here for maybe like 10 minutes already and it still feels wet and tacky. I don't know what's going on or when is it gonna set, but if it stays like this, all I know is that it will move throughout the day and it's gonna crease. But I'm also noticing that the side without the powder, it's giving me more of the lifted look. It's making my eye look a little bit more open, more awake. And the side with the powder, it looks more blurred out, more matte. And you see a little bit of discoloration picking through right here without powder you see nothing picking through in this side with the powder. All right, so I'm gonna go finish up my makeup. I still have to apply a little bit more bronzer, blush, set right here my contour, and I'm leaving. I have a few things to do and I'm starving. I have to go eat now. The goal is to have it on for at least eight hours. So let's see how this looks at the end of the day. I am gonna do some check-ins here and there throughout the day. So I see you in a little bit. Already had it on for a little longer than one hour. This is the side without the powder and with. With powder still looking better. Without powder, like everything's sticking to it and it's not completely set. It still feels tacky, so. I'm gonna go downstairs and apply a little bit of eyeshadow on my lower lash, which I was supposed to, but I almost forgot. I took down the extension. They were giving me a headache, and you know me and my headaches. A little bit of eyeshadow right here. It's gonna make the side without the powder look so much better. I had the concealer on for about three hours. This is without the powder and with. I haven't looked at myself in the mirror, but this is where we are right now. Just got home and I already had the concealer for a little longer than seven hours. And this is a without powder and it's looking so bad. So, so, so fucked up. Messy. Look at this. Terrible. Okay, we're gonna talk about it in a minute when I go down to my studio. I'll tell you more of what I think about it. But this right here, it is a big no, no, honey. Mm -mm. This is a side with the powder that looks so much better. All right, I am back, and we're looking a little bit tired, worn out, messed up my hair and my eye look it is completely done it's asking for help but this freaking hair right here it is pissing me off like it doesn't want to stay okay i'll fix it a little bit i have put on a little bit of water so baby do you see the way that this is looking there was one specific reason why i was so excited about this concealer and why did i want to try so bad and that was the hole is supposed to set itself i mean it's clearly over here in the claims self-setting formula that locks in with a natural skin like finish where where is the whole self-setting situation that you don't need to set it with powder if you don't want to no like what game are we playing this is not self-setting at all if you walk around with this concealer and you don't set it with powder you're gonna look like me right now look how messy it looks it looks like if i was crying all day i brought you in one more time so you can see this what's going on the way everything looks after almost nine hours so first of all let's talk about my eye look because that's a big deal right now i did apply this concealer on my lids which I do that, I mean, 
if the concealer is good you're gonna be able to put your eyeshadow on top with no problem but this concealer completely tear down apart my eyeshadow i mean there's no eye look left look at this the whole thing right here came off look how crazy it got it got oily wow like i can't believe that this thing didn't make my eyeshadow like last not even like the regular amount of time that it always lasts like my eyeshadow after like five hours was already looking messed up i don't have oily eyelids imagine if you do have oily eyelids do not put this concealer on your lids and not even for a second so this concealer it doesn't work without powder which it doesn't even make any sense to me because if you're gonna come out with a concealer and you're gonna put it out there to the world that it is a self-setting formula don't give me this don't do it to me please but without powder your concealer is going everywhere it's not gonna last if i touch it right now it still feels tacky which means it's wet without powder this looks nasty it transferred everywhere it didn't last it creased you can see my dark circles in the discoloration peeking through not even peeking everything it's out you see my dirt circles mixed in with a little bit of concealer that i have left now moving on to the other side the one that i did set with powder like i normally always set my concealers it looks good even after so many hours everything looks smooth i do see a little bit of crease in here and there but it's nothing crazy i'm not mad at it i actually do really like the way that this side looks it is giving me a little bit of blurred but it's not the most blurring concealer that i have in my collection it is non-drying it's giving me the perfect amount of hydration not too much not too little it's way less it feels like nothing under the eyes like second skin it will be good for dry under eyes but you have to make sure that you prep your under eyes really good with something really hydrating because this formulation is a little bit more on the dry and thick side see like comparing this one from Makeup and Mario with the one from Natasha Denona. You can tell that the one from Natasha Denona it's giving a little bit more juice, more hydration, and then the one from Makeup and Mario is just a little bit more of a natural hydrating matte finish. When it comes to the coverage of these two, they're very similar, but I do feel that the one from Natasha Denona it's giving a little tiny bit more coverage. Like you're gonna be able to use less concealer and it's gonna give you more coverage. With this one, you're gonna have to apply a little bit more to get the same coverage that you will get with this one. Don't get me wrong, I do really love this concealer from Makeup and Mario a lot. It looks so good with powder, of course, but I love how brightening it is. It's awakening, even after so many hours, my under eyes, they still pop in. I mean this one, not this one, but you know what I mean. I love that it's giving me the natural, super glammed, so snatched type of under eyes. Instead, this one from Natasha Anona, it's gonna give you more of the hydrating, juicy, healthy type of finish, but they're both beautiful for every day. This is a little bit more, mm, more like, I'm glammed, bitch. But this one is gonna give you more of your under eyes, but better. With a lot of coverage and a lot of hydration. So if you're somebody that needs coverage for the daily basis, they're both gonna be beautiful. I still don't like the fact that I can't use it on my lids. That sucks. And again, is it a must have? No. I wish that the concealer was what I thought it was gonna be, that I wasn't gonna need powder, that it was gonna set itself. Because in my mind, I'm like, okay, what if that concealer is just the type that i can literally like put on blend and be out the house it's gonna save me and you so much time but that's not the case so this is just another beautiful regular concealer we still have the new one from house labs coming through soon so i am gonna be comparing them stay tuned for that but let me know like always what do you think about it in the comment section down below do you like it you don't like it and i love you to the moon and back Mwah. see you on the next one